Now listen, Kingfish. You tickle his ears with the straw. All right, I tickle his ears. Wait a minute. Oh. Hello. This here is the Fresh Air Taxi Cab Company of America Incorporated. No, I say this here is the Fresh Air Taxi Cab Company of America Incorporated. This is Mr. Brown talking now. What's that? Oh, oh, yeah. The furniture man. What's that? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. The judgment note that I signed for Mrs. Parker comes due next month, huh? Well, I'll tell you about that, mister. Me and Mrs. Parker ain't on speaking terms right now. We don't speak to each other, so as far as I was concerned, you can tear that up now. What's that? Well, you can't blame me for that. I know I signed it, but I didn't know that you expect me to pay it. I was just helping her out. No, sir. All I had done was sign a piece of paper. I didn't know I had to pay that money. Oh, no, sir. You see, uh, all I'd done was to go in there and ask, to ask you not to take her furniture away from her. You can go over and get it now. I wish you would get it. No, sir, I can't pay that note. You will turn it over to the lawyer? Well, if I can't pay you, I can't pay the lawyer. All right. Goodbye. Hello, Andy. Hello, Andy. Well, what are you fellas doing here? When did you come in here? Well, we walked in here while you were asleep and we stood behind you. We was getting ready to tickle your ear with a straw, you see, but the phone rung and we was standing right behind you here. Well... Yeah, we was gonna wake you up, Andy. I was sitting here in the office and I've been working on the book, trying to figure out some stuff. My brain just give away. I went sound asleep. I was trying to figure out something for the new year. Guess I kind of overworked my brain a little. Now, who was that on the telephone? The furniture man? Yeah, that crazy man. What's the matter, Andy? What ain't the matter? Now, what did the furniture man say? Well, you remember when I went down and signed that little note for Mrs. Parker when they were going to take her furniture away from her? Oh, yeah, I remember when you done that. Uh, Is the note coming due? It must be coming something. He called me up and told me he wanted me to pay $250. I told you not to sign that there thing. What you mean you told me? Well, I hate to keep on telling you that I told you so, Andy, but you know you ain't had no business doing that. All I'd done was to go down to the furniture store when they was going to take Mrs. Parker's furniture away from her and ask them not to do it. And the man asked me if I wanted to sign a little note. I told him, sure, I'd sign it. That ain't no sign I got to pay for it, though. Andy, I'm afraid uh, they got you there, boy. Well, I'll tell you one thing right now. They ain't going to make me pay nothing that I don't want to pay. If the man's got a note, you got to pay it, ain't you? Them notes is bad. Well... And if it's a judgment note, Andy, that's better than ever. What you mean? I got to pay that note whether I want to pay it or not? Certainly you got to pay it. They can hold you for a note. Now I know I was like us. Me and the Kingfish was just walking down the street, and we was wondering if we couldn't get together here and think of some way to help you out. Uh, Emma tells me that the case comes up in court Monday, is that right? Yeah, I got a lawyer, a letter from my lawyer telling me to be ready Monday. Guess he wants me to get ready to go to jail or something. Uh, has you got the defense lined up? What kind of fence? The defense. No, I ain't done nothing about no fence yet. Get your feet down off the desk, Andy. What's the matter with you? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I got a cramp in my foot here. Wait. leaving everything up to his lawyer. Uh, what does the lawyer have to say about everything? He ain't got nothing to say. What's the matter with him? Well, I tell you the truth, Kingsley. The lawyer told Andy not to come over to his office till he called him up and made an appointment first, you see. And neither one of us can spell this here lawyer's name so we can't find out what his phone number is. What do you mean we can't spell his name? Well, you can't spell his name. I can spell it if I want to. Wait a minute, boys. Wait a minute. That was easy. Uh, Spielman, his name is. Uh, I got it right here on a piece of paper in my pocket. So. Here, here it is. Right here. 
Spielman, the number of Douglas 2221. Well, let me put that down on a piece of paper. 2221. But don't ever tell me, Amos, that I can't spell the man's name if I want to. Well, now listen, Andy. We has got to get you out of this mess that you is in. Yeah, we ought to get him out of it if we can. Amos, you make me so mad sometimes when you talk like you talk. What you mean we ought to get you out? You ain't got sense enough to stay out of trouble yourself, much less try to get somebody else out. Well, all I want to do is help you if I can, Andy. A great help you'd be. You done heard about Amos giving Ruby Taylor the engagement ring, Kingfish. That shows you how crazy he is. I know, but Andy, uh, Ruby Taylor is a lot different, though, from Widow Parker. See there? All right, go ahead, go ahead. I know one thing, I was in a mess. If you want to get in one, go ahead, get in it. I don't want to get in no mess. All I was trying to do is to help you get out the one you was in. Kingfish, you know what Amos want me to do. He want me to plead resanity. Well, that ain't a bad idea, Andy. Any man that falls for that line of mush that Widow Parker puts out could plead with sanity and get away with it. Wait a minute now, wait a minute. I relent that. You better stop relenting things and try to get yourself out of this mess. You folks ain't trying to tell me that I was crazy. The president of the company, crazy? Suppose that news would get out. That would ruin the business. Well, you couldn't do no more to it than it's doing now. The idea. A crazy president. Well, of course, you ain't go plead with sanity, but uh, you has got to do something, Andy. Don't nobody know it better than I do. I know I got to do something. What can he do to get out this mess? Your trial comes up Monday. Now, let me see. What can I do? I might call on the laws to help you, the mystic knights of the sea. Don't get that bunch messed up in us. I was just thinking, Andy, I might get the lodge's lawyer. No, he's in jail right now, though. Uh, could you get the lawyer out of jail in time by Monday, you think? The lawyer's in jail, huh? Yeah, he's in jail right now. Well, if he's in jail now, how is he going to keep me out of there? He can't keep himself out. Uh, well, I was down to the jail to see the lawyer, and he just slipped in there on a little technicality. He slipped in there on a what? I say he just slipped in jail on a little technicality. I bet you he went in there in the patrol wagon. Uh, well, uh... What can we do, though? That's the main thing. Mm. Let me see here now. Who else do I know that has studied law? I don't want nobody to study law. What I want to do is to get out of this mess. I got one lawyer now if I can ever get a hold of him. Uh, let's go over to see your lawyer. Uh, call him up there on the telephone and tell him he's coming over. Yeah, go ahead. Call him up here at the telephone. Go on, call him. What's the number here? Douglas 2221. Wait a minute. Now I'll call him up. Hello? Give me Douglas, 2221. Two, That's right. It just seemed like that everything go wrong. Judgment note, breach of promise, he's coming up Monday. I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, tell him that we's coming over there to see him. We got to know something right away. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hello? Is this Douglas, 2221? Two, two, Let me talk to Mr. Spielman, lawyer Spielman. What's that? He's sick in bed. Be there how long? Two weeks. Goodbye. Ah, uh, like that.